Crimson Tide football players injured during the game will now have some privacy on the sidelines when they need to see a doctor. WVUA 23's Jack Royer got an inside look at their new medical tent today and joins us now with a sneak peek. Jack. Philip, it's almost like a doctor's visit. Just add 100,000 screaming fans, more watching on television. That's what football players deal with in addition to an injury on the field. But not anymore, thanks to some smart UA engineers. Now, when an Alabama football player needs medical attention on the sideline, they won't have thousands, perhaps millions of onlookers. Thanks to a team of UA engineering students, newfound privacy for Crimson Tide players and athletic trainers, separation from watching eyes, and bad weather. When you're doing an evaluation on the sideline, clearly there's a ton of distractions, not to mention the privacy issue for the players. So, as I started thinking through that, you know, I kind of developed this idea in my head. It started as a school project for seniors in the engineering school. Up to the task were Patrick Powell and Jared Cassidy. To meet the needs of Jeff Allen and his staff, these guys used their engineering expertise to create a one-of-a-kind tent. And it's a great feeling to know that your work is being recognized in that way, but it's also being um, beneficial to both the players and the, the College of Engineering. It's easy to collapse and move around. When deployed, it stands about seven feet tall, providing plenty of space for injured players and a point of pride for students involved with design. Unfortunately, a player was injured when, and had to go in, and when I saw the tent go up, I was the only one standing in our section of the crowd screaming, <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, I was extremely proud. The Crimson Tide's new sideline tent, drawing attention away from injured players onto a unique engineering feat. Now, there is a patent pending on this project, which is the first of its kind in college football. But now it travels with the team, quickly becoming an essential medical tool for the Crimson Tide. Reporting live, Jack Royer, WVUA 23 News.